this is your rack pipeline you think that this is the best pipeline because it has the latest models but how do you know that is true you need to evaluate your pipeline hi my name is joydeep and i make videos about gen ai apps current research and applications in industry and in this video we'll know about how to evaluate your rack pipelines welcome to my channel now all rags have these three major parts retrieval part where relevant documents are retrieved from the vector db augmentation part where the query and the documents are joined together generation where the llm works on the augmented text to formulate the answer to evaluate these three different parts of the pipeline make sure that they are working for you we need to implement some metrics mean reciprocal rank this is basically the inverse of the first relevant item and then you can take the mean of the different queries so that's why you see summation of one by rank then there is the hit rate it is simply the fraction of queries for which the correct answer is included in the recommendation list of length l that is why you have hits divided by hits number of hits plus number of misses for the generation part we have context relevance and faithfulness relevancy to measure if the response and source notes match the query and to faithful and to measure faithfulness measure if the response from the query engine matches any source node now let's go to the code we start with the requirements pip install pandas llama index which is the main package llama index embeddings hugging face for hugging face embeddings the hugging face uh, embeddings llama index or llama to load our local llama model dot env to load environment variables and matplotlib for visualization this will take some time to install in my case it's already installed so next we have from dot env import lo load dot env this is specifically required because we want to call open ai models as well for evaluation so ne next from llama index dot core import simple directory reader create the reader instance from input directory data where data is the folder where the pdf files are located and if you have nested folders you can put recursive as true running this loads the data checking the length of the documents in this case there are 28 pages that is so we have 28 documents next load the embedding model using the resolve embed model function we will use bg small en v 1.5 model which is one of the popular models for rag retrieval embeddings from flag embeddings you can try other models as well So we do resolve embed model. So we buy model from BG small en v one point five. So this is the web page for the model. We pass this variable to resolve embed model. check if the class is properly loaded okay so from llama index dot core dot node parser import the simple node parser with we also import the vector store index so the simple node a uh, node parser is uh, created with chunk size as 512 and chunk overlap as 20 So we create the vector index we pass these nodes and the embedding model to create the vector index we first create the nodes from the documents from these documents and then we create the vector index with the nodes and the embedding model 
check if the vector index is fine. So we create the retriever. So vector index as retriever with similarity top k as 2. Check if the retriever is working correctly by reviewing some retrieved nodes manually. So from lama index dot core dot response notebook utils import display notebook utils display source node function. Our query is who is responsible for, for completing the completion appraisal form. So for all the retrieved nodes running a for loop, we display the source node with source length as 1000. Getting an error here. So it should be retriever dot retrieve. So you can see different nodes are shown. <coughs> the first is probably not that relevant is the second one that has the relevant information. Within 10 days of receipt. Check the length of the nodes. It has 42. We have 42 nodes from 28 documents. Next step is to set up question and context for retrieval evaluation. For this, we use OpenAI GPT 3.5 model. If you have GPT 4 access, use that as well, or you can use your favorite model. From llama index.core.evaluation, import generate question context pairs. Pass the nodes, LLM, and number of questions per chunk as 2. Nodes, LLM, and number of questions per chunk as 2. Or you can set your own number of questions per chunk. This takes around 15 minutes in my laptop. So if the QA dataset is created, listing out the questions, QA dataset queries dot values, list it out check couple of questions who are the potential implications for employee who do not adhere to policies outline we save this QA dataset in a file in this case HR retrieval dataset dot JSON so we can use it later as well to load from the from this uh, dataset from llama index dot core dot evolution import embedding QA fine-tuned dataset we have embedding fine-tuned QA dataset from JSON. Load from this file that we have saved. Check if the values there are and the questions are the same as we got above. So we know it has the same values. Now calculating the retrieval matrix. From llama index.core.evolution calling the retriever evaluation evaluator we have the matrix of MRR and hit rate that we discussed before <coughs> retrieval evaluator is retrieval evaluator from metric names we pass this matrix and the retrieval evaluator on the retriever Eval results is retrieval evaluator dot async dataset. To display in a better manner, we pass this uh, post processing function display it retrieval results with parameter name and eval results. We take all the metric wells dict and put it in a list called metric dicts. So for all the results in the eval results, we create this metric dict or rather we get the uh, metric well sticks. Now we create the full data frame. 
because we have the data frame we can now take the mean of the hit rate and the mrr and use that to create the final data frame matrix.tf take the mrr mean as well columns as retriever name hit rate and MRR value create the metric DF return the metric diff so our hit rate is 0 0.833 and hit uh, MRR is 0 0.72 since MRR is quite less than hit rate we can try to implement a read anchor that will boost the result boost the result next step is to create compute metrics for LLM evaluation taking random 20 questions for QA dataset so that computation is faster you can try with more questions as well Check couple of questions in the eval questions. Explain rules and responsibilities of business head. What are the steps involved? Pre-employment. Import nest SNCO, nest SNCO dot apply. This helps in running nested even loops in notebook where we are running. Running the Olama model. From llama index dot llms dot olama import olama to lo load the local file model we are using import faithfulness evaluator and relevancy evaluator for the evaluation. Judge llm is openai gpt 3.5 model rag llm is file model loaded using olama. Vector index created similar to above using nodes and embed model. We create we create query engine using this vector index where LLM is the rag LLM and similarity top k is 2. Create the relevancy and faithfulness evaluator instances with the GPT 3.5 judge LLM. Next step, we create the function to run the evolution for the LLM. We pass parameters, eval questions, query engine, relevancy evaluator and faithfulness evaluator. For each eval question, we run the query on the query engine and have it in the response vector. Then calculating relevancy result and faithfulness result. Use the TQDM for progress monitoring. Calculating the relevancy result and the faithfulness result. For each eval question, for these results, we create a dictionary with eval query, a string response, add the source notes as well, and capture whether the relevancy and faithfulness are passing or not. Relevancy result and faithfulness result, whether they are passing or not. We add this DF to the evals list. For this list of dicks, create the pandas data frame. Now we run this function to generate the eval results. 
running this function takes around 1 hour for my laptop. Within that time that it runs, creating a function to showcase the results in a better manner. Function display LLM results takes in name and eval results. For the matrix relevancy and faithfulness, the metric value is number of time this result is true divided by total, uh, total number of results. So, length of number of times this is true. divided by total results. From this we create the data frame with metric name and metric value. We return this metric df. While running the function I got an error and spent some time debugging it. The bug was to perform the query on the eval q variable which is the variable that should be passed. Now running the function again we are able to generate the results. check some results manually. So now relevancy is 0 0.77 and faithfulness is 0 0.833. Thanks for watching the video.